after I finished some videos about some domesticated dog transformers, a domesticated dog transformer comes out. And he's a new character, um, it's a name that's been used before, but I figured I might as well cover it because he's kind of cool and his dogs rule. Uh, it's Rescue Bots, Transformers Rescue Bots Servo, the multi-tool dog. This is Proto Man, this is Proto Retro, and let's do this. Proto Retro. So before we get into the toy itself, let's talk a little bit of a history lesson of the character of Servo, the name of it, and all of that matter. Um, within Transformers, uh, the term servo really uh, applies to a million different things. I mean, in, in mechanics and engineering, servo is, I mean, it's applied to a lot of things also. But in Transformers, I mean, servo has been, in Generation 1, it's been used to describe limbs, uh, stabilizing servo, referring to, say, like feet. Uh, in animated, the term servo was used as food, uh, in the case of Blitzwing from Transformers Animated. Uh, said that he likes uh, metal shavings with his servo salad. So it's it's one of those mechanical terms that are used many times in Transformers that don't really have one set meaning, and it's thrown around. It's as many times with Transformers where stuff used in mechanics or engineering are thrown around. I mean, the term alternators for a whole Transformers toy line, despite the fact that alternators really aren't what they think they are when used in that context. Uh, but the first time the name Servo was used as a character really came from the Japanese version of Armada called Micron, uh, where they had these little uh, DVD comic pack-ins, uh, which was a story called Linkage. And in Linkage, there was a character called Servo, um, where most people know him as... his Probably his most famous role was discovering Stella's bra and wondering what is this tool or this device or this weapon, if you will. So that was it for Servo. Then we get to this guy. Now the funny thing is, this isn't the first time we've gotten, I guess you could call it, product of him. It actually all starts with, uh, let's bring in, uh, High Tide. So. If you bought the High Tide playset, it came with a cardboard cutout of Servo the dog, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff like High Tide himself, and you got one of Cody. So that was the first time we got anything of Servo, but it didn't end with that, and now we got the actual figure himself, who we're going to open up, check out, and just reminisce and talk about this character. So let's do that. So Servo was a Cybertronian dog that was brought over uh, in Season 3 of Rescue Bots in the episode Turning the Tide. Um, he was one of High Tide's crew members, uh, specifically the multi-tool that's used for cleaning up and all kinds of duties. And within the show, Servo could transform into literally anything like literally anything that needs the job more or less. But obviously the toy itself can't, you know, meet to that demand. So instead he turns into a special drilling device. And so obviously here in vehicle, mo uh, vehicle mode, in robot mode, there's not much that can be seen um, or dog mode, if you will. <laughs> I don't even know what term we could use. Um, but he has the legs here that aren't articulated, but he does have a little articulated tail, which also will make up um, for the handle of the weapon. Transformation is simple. It just goes like this, like most rescue bot stuff, and there is the drill mode. And because the way the tail is, it could be pivoted to work any way needed for any kind of rescue bot, because a lot of, the, especially a lot of the early rescue bot toys, uh, because they didn't have articulation, it helps that the handle is pivotable, that way it could fit for any need, where Optimus Prime like this, he could hold it sideways, but say like here on the packaging with um, with other characters that say are flat, it could work like that too. So that's kind of cool that they made the effort uh, to make a pivoting tail where it kind of works for the dog, so he could have his little wagging tail, but at the same time works for other stuff too. And that's more or less that could be said. He's a very simple toy, but 
it's cool that they at least made a toy of him, considering that when I saw this cardboard cutout, I thought, oh, maybe that's all they have planned for him. But it's cool that he happened. Uh, he's one of the br newer Rescue Bot uh, toys that are out right now, fairly cheap. And yeah, pretty cool. Uh, he works with the pinpoint for those deluxe size Rescue Bot toys. He also does work with the smaller ones and could even be held also by the humans but it's obviously much more tight a fit, but still pretty cool that he exists and is a great addition to your rescue bot collection and is a key member of the team, so he's pretty cool. And that's all that can be said. So, this is Proto Man of Proto Retro, and this has been a quick video review of Transformers Rescue Bot Servo, the multi-tool dog. Some say he's a schnauzer, but he looks more like a Doberman to me. Anyways, this is Proto Man. Take care and roll out. Hey guys, like what you saw? Want to see more? Then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe this video. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like the Facebook group for all the latest updates from Proto Man of Proto Retro.